In Jedi Survivor, you can get Cal's classic poncho from the first game, and you can do it pretty early on if you are able to overcome a difficult boss, all of which will be covered in this video. First off, you'll want to get to the meditation point at Fort Collin in Rambler's Reach of Planet Kobo. You will be brought within walking distance of Fort Collin near the end of the last Chapter 2 main quest. From the meditation point, use the ascension cable to grapple up the nearby watchtower. You'll need to initially take the long way around the structure and defeat a few droids along the way. However, there is a shortcut that can be opened up near the end of this small path to make return trips quicker. In any case, you'll want to make your way over to a new area with a large trap door. Defeat the nearby droids and go towards the center of the trap door to be dropped into the pit below, where you'll need to defeat the spawn of Ogdo, which I will just refer to as Ogdo from here on out. The chest containing the poncho is nearby, but you'll need to defeat this boss before you can retrieve it. This boss is very challenging, even on normal difficulty. So now let's talk strategy on how to defeat Ogdo. I used the double-bladed stance and found the Vortex Dive move to be particularly effective for dealing damage quickly. The controlled throw skill can also be extremely effective if you use it from far enough away from Ogdo as it can stun lock it while dealing large amounts of damage. Early on, Ogdo mainly sticks with small bites that can be parried and unparryable body slams that can be avoided with a well-timed backflip. Ogdo will occasionally puff up its cheeks and turn red. This telegraphs an unparryable lunge attack that is successfully avoided with a well-timed double jump. After avoiding that attack, you'll have a small window to dish out some damage. Additionally, you will need to dodge to the sides to avoid a different unparryable attack, where Ogdo turns red while opening their mouth for a large bite. This will also open up small windows for attack. At around 75% health, Ogdo will start using its one-hit KO move, leaping away from you and flailing around its tongue in a wind-up animation. You'll need to perform a well-executed sideways jump to avoid the tongue as it lashes out, as well as landing on the extended tongue, both of which will result in instant death even on normal difficulty. Ogdo will also start spewing acid onto the ground, but this is relatively easy to avoid, deals low damage, and it serves more as an opportunity to lay on damage than anything else. Ogdo's final phase around 30% health brings out one more unparryable move. Ogdo will ready a pounce that produces a large damaging shockwave. You'll either need to jump over the shockwave or get clear of it entirely. However, if you do get hit by the shockwave, don't immediately heal as Ogdo likes to take this moment to catch you with the tongue attack. Instead, watch out for and avoid the tongue attack first, then heal. At this point, there are no new tricks, but Ogdo will become more and more aggressive as its health ticks down to zero. Once Ogdo is defeated, go over to the den chest to claim your water resistant reward. Equipping the poncho in the customization menu will also unlock the A Presence I've Not Felt Since trophy. If you want to see more great guides, you can head over to my channel, and if you're new, consider subscribing. You're helping me feed my cat. Her name's Marshmallow. Have a great day if you're here today, have a great Sunday, and a great week, and as always, thanks for watching.